So little Uncle Ben's ready rice roasted chicken. This is for the microwave, but you put it in your pan, add just a little bit of water to it, come out great. I'm gonna have to sit there and mess with the measurements or that kind of crud. A little soupy so it doesn't stick or burn. So I just found this metal tube. And it looks like it's, yeah, it is. It's an antenna or one of those fire tubes. Someone um, broke the end of it off and it's a little bit clogged, but I'm going to fix it. And then I'll have one with me. I'll have an extra one. Nice. Check it out. an awesome find. Now I didn't bring a plate, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these pork chops. I'm gonna eat them. I think I'll probably just eat them off the spit, but oh yeah, they're getting nice and done. I wanna make sure they're really thoroughly cooked. I don't wanna mess with getting uh, food poisoning. Off undercooked pork. All right, boys and girls, moment of truth. Perfect. Let's check our rice too. Not burnt, not soupy. Perfect, so I'm gonna add yeah, a little hot sauce to it. An old goose flying solo. So what would be good in it tonight? Got Frank's Red Hot. Always a crowd pleaser. Traditional Tabasco. And then of course my all-time favorite freebie Taco Bell Diablo sauce. I think it's Diablo sauce. Perfect. Mm, 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 mm. All right. <clears throat> Dinner's done. It is time to get the fire stoked up. It is starting to get dark. And I don't want to be out here all by my lonesome in the dark. Good morning. 
slept great last night. Got the fire going. Gonna have a little coffee, have a little breakfast, and then uh, shoot some more video and then probably pack up and head out. Get home, see my dogs, see my wife. Uh, it was a great night last night. It was, um, it was actually kind of warm. I, I was surprised. It was probably in the low 50s. Um, I didn't get chilly at all until maybe like 3 or 4 in the morning. And I had to cover up a little bit more, but it was a very quiet night. Uh, windy, but not bad. Um, slept great. Hammock slept great. Heard an owl, and that's about it. Other than that, it was just uh, quiet. It's kind of overcast today. I don't. It's not going to be as sunny as it was yesterday, but um, it's a beautiful day in the woods. All right, real quick guys, I just wanted to go over the equipment that I brought for this uh, solo overnight. Um, it's not a lot of stuff, but it's enough to keep me comfortable. So, Corona saw, it's the razor tooth saw that you can get at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. Very inexpensive, but it cuts really well. The uh, Grand Trunk Double. Uh, I've got a Princeton Tech Fuel headlamp. Fleece beanie, a Hunter Specialty uh, inflatable seat, tent stakes. And these are just the uh, the Cooligans that you get at Walmart. They're the kind of inexpensive uh, T-shaped stakes. I like these better than the titanium and some of the more expensive ones because if you lose them, it's no big deal. I can go and buy a couple more at Walmart, and it, they're light, they're strong. I like how they stick in the dirt and then in this uh, Kifaru pullout this is all my food and condiments and cleanup gear and stuff like that uh, the climate X pillow which that thing is tiny it only weighs 2.25 ounces and it unfolds to 15 by 11 by three and a half it was very comfortable last night it was a great pillow for hammock camp I loved it this is the Toax Titanium 1 liter pot with bale. And in here I also have a uh, silicone a collapsible cup and some cleanup gear. Uh, Mechanic brand gloves. This is my War, bon War Bonnet tarp. In this pullout by Phantom X Gear, this is my um, toiletry kit. So it has contact solution. Uh, contacts, a comb, a mirror, toothbrush, toothpaste, things like that. In this larger pullout, uh, I have, this is all the lines and straps and things that go to the tarp, um, some extra 550 cord. Uh, I'll put my headlamp in here. So this is kind of like the line kit. In this uh, waterproof dry bag, this is just my camera gear. And I've got microphones and various things that go just for the cameras. And of course, um, a selfie stick. And then my Nikon D500 and uh, a Manfrotto tripod is what I use to shoot video with. Um, here is my chest pack that I'm, I'm using for this weekend. I'm kind of experimenting with this. This is a Condor TNT pouch. Um, but it hooks up great to the straps of my backpack so I can actually carry it like a, a chest rig. And in here, this is where all my possibles or essential kind of stuff is. There's my handgun, there's uh, fire starting equipment, my pocket knife, extra batteries to the camera, whistle. And it's, it's really a great pouch because when it's sitting on my 
on my chest it unfolds and creates a little bit of a shelf and then everything is kind of displayed that you can get to pretty easily and it, it holds it really nicely holds everything very nicely and I'm really pleased with it it's got a, a decent amount of organization and buttons up nice and tight holds everything nice and then on the front of this I have uh, an SE3 which is just a great all-around camp knife go-to knife of course, toilet paper. Uh, then uh, I'm using the uh, Swedish uh, LK34 pack up here. That's what's hanging on the tree. That's uh, 34 liters, I believe, that's what that stands for. And then I've got a water bladder, and that's it. Um, and of course, my sleeping bag, which is inside the, the backpack already. Uh, that's like a 35, 40 degree bag, which was perfect for last night. So. You know, not a lot of equipment, um, just enough to get me by for the evening. Um, definitely kept me comfortable. Um, if I was to change anything, I can't think of anything I would change. Or everything worked the way I wanted it to work. It was just enough. I didn't bring too much stuff, um, and I didn't bring too little. So for an overnight solo, this is perfect. I'm sure in the summertime I could go with a lot less, uh, but you know, for what this is. It was it was fantastic. And of course, I forgot to mention that I did use the tracker as the primary knife for this trip. Uh, of course, you saw me doing curls with it, batoning wood. I didn't bring an axe. Didn't feel I needed it for this trip. I wanted to cut weight a little bit. So a big knife, a saw, and then a smaller blade for detail work, and that's all I really needed. It, uh, as always, I love this thing awesome awesome blade did a great job never worry about damaging it or hurting it in any way it's it's a beast